Hey you guys and welcome back. Today I am going to be filming, finally, I feel like it's been months, I think, since I've been thinking about doing this video and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a review on drugstore BB creams and CC creams. So I have been testing out a whole bunch of different BB creams and CC creams for the last like I think two months or at least one and a half months. I bought a bunch of them and then I've been testing them out and in this video I'll be showing you guys clips. So pretty much all of the wear tests were about 12 hours so the clips that I'll show you have been after 12 hours of wear and you'll have to excuse the way I look in all those videos because they were after work and I look terrible after work like I don't I don't know, I just have that like haggard work face. That's just not not good. But it was just important to show you guys how the actual products wear throughout the day. I have about five to share with you. One of them is a little bit of a bonus, so there's like six, I guess. I'll just give you guys my thoughts on each of them and you can kind of decide for yourself which one would work the best for your skin type. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started. Okay, I'm not gonna go in any order. I think I'm just going to go random, but I'm gonna start with BB creams. So the first one that I want to share with you guys is one that I actually, well actually it's weird because all of the ones that I've tried I do really like. I do have favorites but pretty much all of the different creams that I tried work pretty well on my skin. Like they all kind of have their own pros to them but this first one is the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream. This one probably has the lightest coverage out of everything I'm going to share with you today. It's definitely a very sheer kind of finish, but I find that it does tone down my skin. It gets rid of redness. It's not going to cover blemishes, so you might need to spot conceal if you have things you really need to cover up. The weird thing about this product is that it comes out white, like it's white. It's got these little like beads in it almost. I don't really know what the beads are for, but the product is white originally but then once you blend it in it kind of like adjusts like you can already tell it's changing color it adjusts to the color of your skin the shade i got is in the shade light it does say it has beautifying beads in it which are supposed to transform into your perfect shade this isn't my favorite just because of the coverage i feel like i need something with a little bit more especially if i'm breaking out which i actually am breaking out right now i don't know i have a feeling it's dairy products because i just recently had ice cream and then my face broke out i don't know anyways besides the point i take it with me on weekends like I throw this one into my makeup travel bag because it's really really easy to put on in the morning if you just want like a bare face kind of look um, this is perfect for that it does last a pretty decent amount of time it's not super long wearing most importantly it doesn't make my face oily by the end of the day it um, doesn't get greasy and it doesn't slip and slide anywhere it's kind of like you know when your foundation or your uh, BB cream kind of separates. That's what this one does a little bit on my face by the end of the day. So it's not extremely long lasting. Like I think 12 hours is max, like, but I do like it and it's a pretty decent BB cream from the drugstore. I can't remember the price, but L'Oreal is kind of expensive. So I think this is what around like 16, 17 dollars. If you're looking for something light coverage, really lightweight, feels good on your skin, I would totally recommend this guy. Next up is another BB cream. This is an oldie, but it is a goodie, and this is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for Oily Skin. I have mine in the shade 520 Light. I also have a darker version of this, which I like to use in the summertime when I'm tanned. I feel like this is more of a, almost like a foundation rather than a BB cream. It's not exactly thick, but it just feels a little bit heavier. It doesn't feel quite as lightweight as the other products that I'll share with you. It's definitely more on the heavier side, but that being said, it has really good coverage for a BB cream. Like you wear this without spot concealing, like it covers up really, really nicely. It also is mattifying, so it's not gonna get greasy throughout the day. After 12 hours, I thought this looked really great. Like it wasn't oily. The thing I don't like about this one so much is the color. I feel like this BB cream just oxidizes on my face and ends up looking really orange by the end of the day, which I'm not such a fan of. This is definitely a good one if you have oily skin or if you just want a little bit more coverage. Out of these two BB creams that I showed you though, I definitely prefer this one. It just has a little bit more of a natural finish. Like my freckles and stuff will show through. It doesn't look like I'm trying to cover up much it just this one just kind of looks like my skin but better whereas this one it's a little bit more obvious that you're wearing product on your face the next bb cream is the one that i have on my face right now this is my probably my favorite bb cream and this is the garnier skin active bb cream five in one 
Miracle Skin Perfector for Combo to Oily Skin, and mine is in the shade Light Medium. I love this product. I've talked about it before in favorites videos. It's just really, really good. It has such good coverage. Like, I'm wearing it today. It covered up my breakout. It still kind of shows my freckles. It still shows my skin, but it covers up what I need to cover up. I don't know how to describe it. It's just really, really good. It feels lightweight. It doesn't feel like completely weightless, but it definitely feels lightweight on my skin. It is mattifying, like my skin does not feel oily by the end of the day. It just makes your skin look super nice and flawless while not looking like a foundation. It's supposed to even skin tone, hydrate, mattify, minimize pores, and brighten. And apparently, I feel like this was the one... I thought I had the package. I threw out the package that this came in, but I'm almost 100% sure that it said over time it's supposed to make your skin have fewer dark spots. I feel like it was this one that said that. I found this one at Shoppers for $17, so it is a little bit pricier. You are getting double the amount though. You're getting 60 milliliters in here, whereas these two you got the standard 30. So you're, you're paying more, but it's more product. So it's actually cheaper in the long run. This does last really well on the mattifying side. Like it doesn't make my face look greasy or oily. I do feel like it separates a bit. It's kind of similar to the L'Oreal one. Even so, I feel like I feel like it's just a good product and I would totally recommend this BB cream. Like I've been reaching for this one almost every single day. I love it that much. So next up are CC creams. CC creams are actually really expensive. I don't know why they're so expensive, but they are. Like these were these were a hefty price, I have to admit. Actually, BB creams too. Like, I feel like BB creams are also really expensive. Okay, I kept the boxes for these products because there's more information on the boxes. So the first one is something that I've talked about before. This is the Marcel CC cream with SPF 35. Oh yeah, I didn't mention it, but none of these have SPF in it, which sucks. I like, I feel like BB creams and CC creams should have SPF. Now that it's summer, well, it's almost summer, I guess it's still spring, but now that it's getting hotter and it's sunny almost every single day, I don't like leaving the house without SPF, but then these ones don't have it, so it's kind of, I don't know, I wish, I wish they had SPF in it. This one does, this has SPF 35. It says it reduces the appearance of dark spots. The shade I have is in light to medium. So this one was like $30, like it was a pricey drugstore product. Marcel tends to be more expensive and I think it's because it's more like hypoallergenic and it's like better for your skin. It's more like skincare almost. I'm not gonna read this whole thing, but it says it's a 12 in one product on the box and it has like a bunch of things that it does. Complete coverage, evens out skin tones, control shines, long lasting, reduces fine lines and wrinkles. Like it has a whole bunch of skincare benefits between this one and this one and then one other product that I'll show with you later. These are the ones that I wear the most often. Mostly this one because of the SPF in it and also the coverage. Pretty much like a foundation, but it's a little bit more lightweight. I feel like this makes my skin look really naturally like glowy from within. It doesn't make my face look dewy or greasy, but it just gives me this like glow. It does cover what I need to cover up and it does let my skin shine through as well. So freckles and things like that will still poke through. It lasts a really long time on me as well. I feel like it's longer lasting than the other products that I'm sharing with you today. I just feel like this one sticks to my skin a little bit more. I don't really have anything bad to say about this product except for the price point being a little bit steep, but other than that, I feel like there's not really a lot of bad things about this product that I can think of right now. It's just really good and it's supposed to benefit you in the long run, like your skin. It's supposed to benefit your skin in the long run, so hopefully that happens. I feel like I just have too much energy right now and I'm just speeding through all of these products and not giving you guys a good review. <laughs> I know I'm gonna like irritate myself when I edit this video. This next one is the Physician's Formula Super CC Cream. It's a color correction and care CC cream. I have mine in the shade Light. I don't think any of these products had a good shade range. All of them kind of suck, but then again, CC creams and BB creams have terrible shade ranges to begin with. It's okay if you're like me and you have like a medium skin tone because I feel like a lot of these products work well with medium skin tones, but if you're super pale, or on the deeper end, probably won't find your shade. This is meant to visibly correct age spots, dark circles, blemishes. So again, it's a lot like the Marcel one. It has a lot of like skincare benefits to it. I honestly don't have any idea what the color correction part of this is. I feel like they're, I don't know. I feel like they're making that up a little bit because there's like no color correction in this. This is just a regular skin tone color. So I don't understand what they're talking about with 
color correcting, but formula wise, I like this one as well. This has really good coverage. The CC creams tend to have better coverages coverage than the BB creams. So if you're looking for something that's still lightweight, but has good coverage, definitely grab one of these CC creams. Staying power is pretty good. Like I feel like this is another one that I can feel comfortable with at the end of the day. So if I have an event after work or if I'm going somewhere after work, I typically grab one of these CC creams because I know they're just gonna last better on me. It doesn't make my skin look matte. It definitely has more of a sheen to it. To apply this one with a brush, pretty much all of these products, I like to apply them better with a brush. I think with a sponge, they just get to be a little bit too light coverage for me and then it's like not really a point. So I definitely prefer applying these with a brush. I think fingers would work as well. I like the way this looks on my skin. It still lets my skin show. It's not going to completely cover like every little thing. Dark spots still show through, blemishes still kind of show through, which is okay if you're going for something like that. I don't have any negative things to say about it. I think it's a really good product. Physicians Formula is a little bit pricey as well. Like all of these products are a little bit pricey, but this one I think is around the $18 mark. Those are all the BB creams and CC creams that I've been trying out lately. You can kind of see from the demos, the way my skin looked at the end of the day, and um, the amount of coverage that I had from each of these products. The last thing I want to talk about was actually like a bonus. It's not a BB cream or a CC cream. It's a tinted moisturizer, and this is the Rimmel Insta Flawless Perfecting Radiant Skin Tint. Even though it's called a skin tint, I feel like it's more of a BB cream. It has pretty good coverage. Like it's definitely light coverage. It's probably around the same amount as this one, maybe a little bit more. It definitely has a sheer light coverage, but it makes my skin look super radiant and super glowy. I really like the Rimmel Insta line. Like I use a bunch of the Insta products. This is really, really nice and natural looking. I love it for like, oh, I love it for all those like simple everyday kind of makeup looks. It looks super glowy and fresh. So I just wanted to give this option to you guys if you wanted something even more sheer than the other products that I showed you. Um, but yeah. This is a good option for a tinted moisturizer. All right, that sums up this video. I'm sorry if it felt super rushed and super like, I don't know, all over the map, but I hope I gave you guys all the information you needed to hear. If you have any questions about any of these products I shared with you today, please leave it in the comments below. If you've tried any other BB creams and CC creams that I have not shown in this video from the drugstore, let me know as well because I like testing them out. I'm on a BBCC cream like binge right now like I just love them I haven't worn foundation in like like I've said two months I've just been reaching for these products here and I actually feel like they are helping my skin like I feel like my skin is feeling better than it did before like it feels more open and um, less like tight and dry so I definitely feel like my skin is doing better without wearing like foundation every single day if you're someone who doesn't like foundation and you're someone who doesn't have a lot to cover up I would totally recommend that you try a BB cream or a CC cream they're just such great products and yeah, I've just been really into the natural, freckly kind of look lately. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you would like to see more, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!